Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today is day seven of our 30-day sequel challenge. Support yourself, celebrate yourself. You have made it a week in. I am so proud of you. And today we are going to practice what we learned from days one through day six to continue to get that hands-on practice. So our agenda today is very minimal. We're going to practice. So I'm going to give you an assignment. I'm going to walk you through this assignment. And then I'm going to give you a take-home assignment for you to do. So if you are new to the 30-day sequel challenge, welcome. We are glad to have you. The goal of this challenge is to work for 30 days, preferably straight. I know consistency can be hard. It is even testing my consistency to make sure I post 30 days straight. But we are learning beginner to intermediate sequel skills so that we can do projects and in turn land those entry-level data roles. So on the left-hand side is our topic list, which is a Word document. I post supplemental resources here as well as links to the video. If you do not want to check this document every day, please hit the notification bell. On the right-hand side is our Facebook support group. So this is a group where you can ask questions about the videos, give feedback about the videos, find a study buddy, and a lot more. I'm going to post the links to both of these resources in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. So for those who know me, I love Disney. So I said, what better way than to create data about Disney? So we are going to create a Disney Pixar film table. And at the time of this recording, if you haven't seen Inside Out 2, go see Inside Out 2. It was really, really great. But step one, we are going to create a table called Pixar Films, and it's going to have the following columns what the data types as well as the constraints. So we are going to have film ID. This is going to be a number. It also is a primary key that auto increments. And we haven't made a primary key that auto increments yet, but I will show you how to do it. Then we are going to create a film title column, which is text, and it cannot be missing. Release year has to be a number. It can't be missing, and it only accepts films from the year 1995 and after. The director is text with no constraints. And the tomato score, which is a number, and it's a score between zero and 100. The higher the score, the better the film. Step two, we are going to insert data into that table that we created. So these are five films that I have that we will insert. I'm also going to copy and paste this in the description below. So you actually have this data as well. Then we are going to practice our select, select clause of the select statement. So the first select clause, we want to select everything. So we want to select all our columns so that we can look at our data because it's important to look at your data first. Caution, only do this on small data tables. Our data is small, so this is why we're selecting everything. Then I want to select the unique years. So in this case, we're going to use the appropriate select clause to return the unique years. And finally, I want to rename columns using the alias. So I want to rename film title to title and release year to year. So let's go ahead. Now, since we understand the assignment, let's hop into SQL light studio and if you don't have sqlite studio download it fear not i'm going to post a link in the description below so as you can see i have multi-line comments so that we can remember all the steps that we're going to do and remember a multi-line comment has that forward slash asterisk and at the end of the comment, it has an asterisk for it slash. So if you're missing your databases on the left-hand side, you can go to view and make sure databases is checked. And for some of you, you cannot create a new database in SQLite Studio because you're on a Windows. So you may be missing this green plus sign. Fear not, we're just going to add this table to the Chinook database, and then we're going to delete it at the end. So step one, we have to actually create the table. So hopefully you remember what that SQL keyword is, but let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to do create table, and I'm going to call this Pixar underscore films. 
and put in my parentheses. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put the in parentheses there. That way I don't forget it. And I'm going to put in all of the columns. So here it says we need our film ID, which is numeric. It is the primary key and it has to auto increment. So let's go ahead and do film underscore ID. A number is an integer, so it's gonna be a whole number. It is going to be a primary key. And remember the primary key is unique to every row. So no single row will have the same film ID. And if I wanted to auto increment, I'm just gonna say auto increment. And what this does is start at one and keep counting for as ever for however many rows I add to the table. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This way I don't actually have to assign it a film ID. It's already going to assign a unique film ID for me. Comma. Let's add our other column. So it looks like our other column is film title. It is text with no nulls. So I'm going to say film underscore title. I'm gonna put the keyword text. And if we want it to be filled in, remember that's that keyword not null. And that is a constraint. Next, we have the release year. It's a number, can't be blank, and it has to be greater than or equal to 1995. So that greater than or equal to 1995 is a check constraint. So let's go ahead and do release underscore year. And it needs to be a number, so we're doing an integer. It's not null, and I need to check. And my check is going to go in parentheses. I want to make sure that the release underscore year is going to be greater than or equal 1995. So that was a lot going on there. So we have the data type, we have the first constraint, it can't be missing, and then we also have a check constraint there. And then last but not least, oh, we have two more. We have the director, which is just text. So let's do director. Let's call this text, no constraints there. And then we have the tomato score. And this tomato score has to be a number in between zero and 100. So let's go ahead and put integer, a lot of integers in this data today. And once again, I'm doing another check. So I wanna make sure this column, which is called tomatoes underscore score, is between, and I'm just gonna actually type out between zero and, in all caps, 100, okay? And that ends our create table statement. So I'm gonna put a nice little semicolon at the end. But this is creating tables with all of our columns, film ID, film title, release year, director, tomatoes underscore score. Great, so I'm going to highlight this and I'm gonna run it. It doesn't give me anything because there's nothing in there, but I can always check. So let's just go ahead, select everything from Pixar Films. If I can spell it right. <laughs> select everything from, forgot the keyword from, so that's why it was turning red for me. I'm gonna highlight this because I don't wanna recreate the table. It's already created and I'm gonna hit run. And if you can see in my output, it has all of our columns. Great, so I'm just gonna delete that out, but I love to do these nice little checks while I'm coding. Great, so now step two, we have to insert data. And these are the five movies I want to insert. Now I'm only going to insert three for time purposes, but I'm definitely going to copy and paste this in the description so you can insert all five if you would like. So let's go ahead and do our insert into. So I want to do insert into, that is our SQL statement. And I want to insert into the table Pixar Films because that is just what we created. You can also see it on the left-hand side right here. And then I'm going to list the titles that I want to insert. Now, I'm not gonna start with Film ID because it's automatically going to auto increment. It's automatically gonna start at one and keep counting. So I'm gonna start at Film Title and work my way down. So I want to insert Film Title. I also want to insert release year.
director in tomato score. Let me make sure I spell that correctly. Great. So that is exactly what I want to insert and I'm going to end tomato score with a parentheses. There, so now I can do my keyword, which is values, which is gonna allow me to insert. So I'm going to do values. And each one of these is going to get its own set of parentheses. So in quotes, I have Toy Story. I'm scrolling up so I can see. That should be a text. So therefore it goes inside quotes. Release year is an integer, no quotes there. The director is text. So we are going to type out a director. And the tomato score is an integer, so we are going to do that. I'm going to put a comma, and I'm going to insert the next movie on the next line. So we're just inserting data here. I kind of like to tab things over for readability, but you do not have to. It will still run. So the next one is Finding Nemo the original 2003 i feel old just looking at this data from when movies were released andrew stanton and that had a 99 score and then i'm going to do one more which in this case is inside out 2015 pete doctor And then 98 was that score. Awesome. So I have inserted things into my table. So I'm going to highlight this and run it. Okay. And now in step three, it says we want to select everything. So let's see if that actually works. So I'm going to select asterisks from Pixar underscore films. Oh, let me put a nice little semicolon at the end of that statement. So SQLite Studio likes the semicolons at the end of statements, so don't forget that. I'm going to highlight that, and you see that the film ID, even though I didn't say what it was, it auto-incremented the film ID to give me a unique value for every row. Pretty cool, huh? So that is our data there. Awesome. So now we want to select unique release years. So remember, if we want to select unique values from a specific column, we use the select distinct. So let's go ahead and do select distinct, release underscore year from Pixar films. You also can put chinook.pixarfilms. I'm going to highlight that and run it and it's just gonna give me out the release year. I have three rows, they were all made in three different years. So it's gonna give me out those three unique values. The next thing that we want to do is rename film title to title and release year to year. So let's go ahead and select film underscore title as, because remember when we want to rename, we use that keyword as, and I'm as text going to put title because it is text, that's what I want to rename it as, comma, release year, as year. From, I'm gonna put it on a new line for readability, Pixar Films, in here, I'm gonna run it, and I see that it's named title and year now. So awesome, so that was our practice assignment. You made a table with data types and constraints. You also created one column to be the primary key that auto increments. You added data to that empty table using your insert into statement. You selected everything from the table, selected distinct release years, as well as renamed columns. So for your extra practice, be creative. Create a table with at least four columns that have at least two constraints and three rows. It can be a table that has fake data in it. You could do a table about sports that has your top three sports players. You can make a table about family members that has the name of your family members, the age, number, as well as the state that they're in. 
You can do it about shopping. So you can have a store that you like to shop at as well as the address of the store, whatever you want. Be creative to create your own table, insert data into that table, and then write your select clause within your select statement. So that was pretty fun. I would like to thank you all for practicing. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Please like this video. It helps me so, so, so much. Please comment and share and subscribe. If you want to have cool data merch, I also have SQL merch. My Etsy will be linked. And to help support me, feel free to buy me a coffee. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you on day eight. Bye-bye.